Welcome. We are super excited to have all of you here with us. Admittedly, I um, was not feeling my best when I woke up, but I can tell you to walk in and see all of you and to get us all energized and excited about the month of April has already made me start feeling a little bit better. So, Metro United Way is proud to partner with Mayor Greenberg's office in celebration of National Volunteer Month in April for Mayor's Give a Day Celebration of Service. By connecting volunteers to meaningful opportunities, we can work together to make a difference in the lives of our neighbors while seeking to change the social determinants of education, economic mobility, and health in our region. Our team at Metro United Way met with Mayor Greenberg just last week, and I can tell you that we couldn't be more excited about the future of the greater Louisville region. At Metro United Way, we unite and empower communities by advancing equity and sharing opportunities for all, solving problems through volunteer service all year long. We know that in order to bring about positive, sustainable change in our community, we need to bring together powerful solutions to address root causes of systemic issues. That's what our team at Metro United Way works on every day. And volunteering, giving back to our community, is a crucial part of that. We are so grateful for the thousands of volunteers who every day help us provide food and other basic needs to our neighbors, help us transform neighborhoods from the inside out, focusing on resident-driven issues and solutions, join us to build beds for kids who need them, and show up for our neighbors in need in so many other thoughtful ways throughout the year. Each April, we have loved and been inspired by all the good that has come from Mayor's Give a Day. To get involved, it is very, very easy. Simply visit mygiveaday.com. There you can sign up for a volunteer project or report your acts of service. You can easily search the menu for volunteer projects that fit your availability or causes you care about or you can create an innovative project of your own. No act is too small. There are dozens of opportunities so far and several more added each day. No matter how much or how little time you have to give, there is a way for you to make a direct and meaningful difference in the lives of our neighbors. Many, many thanks to our longtime partners and friends to not just Metro United Way, but our entire community, GE Appliances and Brown Foreman, who help make Mayor's Give a Day possible. And huge thanks to Mayor Greenberg <laughs> and his team for inspiring all of us to volunteer and show up for one another. And with that, it is my honor to introduce Mayor Greenberg. Thank you, thank you so much, Adria, and good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to be with you all here today. And I think I know there are still, as of this morning, approximately 17,000 folks, LG&E customers around the city that still do not have their power back. The good news is that's down from 80,000 on Friday night. But what the past three days has shown us in our city is that when we are in times of crises, when neighbors do have challenges, that we as a community stand up and help. I want to give a tremendous thanks to everyone on the city's public works team, to everyone at LG&E and all of the hard, men and women who are working so hard in 16-hour shifts around the clock to restore power that cleared our roads, that are helping everyone get back to where they were before the storm on Friday. I also want to give thanks to everyone else in the community, to every neighbor who lend a helping hand to someone else who was in need, that helped clear debris out of their yard, that helped someone who was without power have food when their food in their refrigerator went, ba went bad. It is that giving and loving spirit that resonates throughout our entire city, that makes our city strong, and that's what Give a Day is all about. And so today, 
while it certainly is never the right time, it seems like even in spite of the challenges we've had over the first past three days, that today is in fact the perfect time to be announcing the Give a Day celebration that is continuing under our administration just to continue on what we've seen over the past three days around our city. And I do want to give Mayor Fisher credit for starting this program in 2011 with a one-day event and to see how it's grown since then is amazing and we're, we're excited to continue its growth and to continue working with people around the entire city. I mean, last year alone, nearly 28,000 volunteer hours were given to give a day. 18,000 Brightside volunteers cleaned up neighborhoods and parks. 4,000 Kentucky Derby Festival volunteers worked to showcase our amazing city at numerous events. And that's just a sample. Our people's passion for helping each other is too big for one day. So now Give a Day is something that we're doing for an entire month. And there are all kinds of volunteer opportunities happening throughout the month. As Adria said, the entry point for anyone who wants to participate is mygiveaday.com. Whether you want to volunteer or whether you're a nonprofit and have opportunities for volunteering, mygiveaday.com is where, where to go. People can even apply for uh, funding for supplies for their own projects. Thanks to support from our amazing corporate partners that we have with here today, with us here today, GE Appliances and Brown Foreman. Katina and Jill, thank you so much for everything that you and your organizations do and for your being amazing corporate citizens throughout our city every day. Volunteers can choose and register for the project of their choice with schools, businesses, places of worship, nonprofit organizations. You can do things on your own. You can do things in an organized fashion. And there is so much to do. We can help with uh, Brightside in our community-wide cleanup. Or I'm thrilled to, that we're joined here today by the AmeriCorps Build a Bed project that you can see here. They have hundreds of volunteers that are building beds for JCPS students at Broadbent Arena. Ben, to you and your entire team, thank you so much for participating in this and for giving back to the community. We really appreciate all of the hundreds of hours that you all are putting in to make a difference in the lives of our kids. There is so much more that can be done. Just go to mygiveaday.com and see what the opportunities are. This partnership really just happens because of so many people working together, which is how all great things happen in our city and everywhere. In addition to the folks I've mentioned, I also want to thank Matt and everyone with Kentucky Derby Festival. They are right behind me. Thank you all so much for help. And to uh, Todd, thank you to you and UAW, Eddie, to everyone with labor that has been helpful. You all have been tremendous partners throughout. And one huge factor in the growth of Give a Day is the involvement of young people. And since the beginning, Jefferson County Public School students and teachers have joined thousands of private and Catholic school students for service projects during Give a Day. So a giant thanks to all of our JCPS partners, led by Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio. Thank you so much for your support. I know it has been a challenging few days for you and your organizations. Glad that JCPS is back open, that schools have power. I know it will continue to be a challenging few days. So thank you for joining us here today and thank you for everything you do during the My Give a Day celebration and during every day in Louisville. Thank you all very much. In honor of Give a Day, there's 17,000 left without power. I am one of those. And so in the Give a Day spirit, I am volunteering to be the last one to get power. I don't think everyone on my block will agree with that sentiment, but I'm convinced I'm gonna go on the LG&E website and it's gonna say one home left without power <laughs> and it's gonna be mine, but that's all right. We're, we're powering through. So uh, thank you, Mayor Greenberg, uh, Metro United Way for having us here today. This, um, I always love the give a day time of year. Once again, Mayor Fisher started that. So thankful for him for starting such this great tradition. Uh, in the city and Mayor Greenberg for continuing on with this tradition because it is a really important part of learning in JCPS. Now we talk about in our backpack of success skills to be globally and culturally competent citizens. One of the things that I've seen of kids today, they are more socially active, they are more community active than in any generation I've seen. And I've been doing this for 26 years. This is the type of learning that kids love to do. 
which is to do something that is going to change their community and their world. If you saw Justice Fest just a couple weeks ago, uh, sponsored by the Kentucky Derby Festival, you would see, I mean, so many kids from elementary all the way up through high school are so engaged in projects to change their community for the better. And I think this is just, once again, another opportunity for our kids to get involved and do this. We have every single school participate in some way or another. That's 155 schools, thousands of kids participating in Give a Day. That could be cl cleaning up their school community, cleaning up their home community, volunteering, build a bed, all kinds of things that happen throughout our community. And so JCPS is a huge part of the success of Give a Day campaign, and I think it makes a difference in our community. I do want to also recognize Ben Langley and his team at AmeriCorps. Congratulations to all of you all, of you all like, that are involved. Raise your hand. If you have not been to the Build a Bed event, I would highly encourage it. It is an incredible show what goes, I mean, how many beds are usually built? 125 beds built in one morning. Um, and, it's, and they put them on the trucks and they take them out and get them to kids right away. It is an amazing event. Started at TJ Middle School. Now we're at Broadbent Arena because we need more size and space. And so that is a great opportunity to get involved. So I would say if you have not done that, take a second to do it. It's a great event. So uh, we're just honored at JCPS to be a part of this and have our kids a part of it. Once again, thousands of kids will be participating in Give a Day over the next month or so. So thank you very much. Honored to be here. And am I? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Polio, and to everyone at, at JCPS. Next up, as we mentioned, is another one of the amazing Give a Day partners, Matt Gibson, President and CEO of the Kentucky Derby Festival. Matt? Thank you, Mayor. You know, to say we were a partner with uh, the Mayor's Give a Day uh, is, a, is an understatement. When it was presented to us a number of years ago that this would be a great program that would grow organically in this community, we thought, how could we not be involved? We're an organization that depends on uh, the support of the community as we create quality of life in this town. It takes over 4,000 volunteers to do what we do, and that's not even counting what it takes to prep the community uh, in order to put on a celebration, one of the largest in the country, in such a large and ever-growing community. Um, each year, we're very honored to be a part of this, and it's fascinating for me to come into this room and hear about great work like these programs that are going on, uh, exactly what the mayor was saying, that just in the last three days to see the community step up and help each other, uh, we were absolutely affected. Uh, I am not the last one uh, to have my power back on. I'm glad that mine is on, but it's been amazing to see how people lean in and help each other. You know, we couldn't produce what we do in this town without those volunteers. We're a small organization that raises all we can and spends all we raise, but it really takes the support and love of the people in this town to create and continue that legacy. It doesn't matter if you're at Thunder and it's those folks who are helping with even the lost child services that are there, parents and, and families get separated. It's those that come in and help with the care centers that we have that creates the medical uh, support for folks that we call the, the boo-boos, the band-aids and things like that. It could be things at the Zoller Pump Pegasus Parade that happens right out here on this road that takes hundreds and hundreds of volunteers. I've been doing this for 26 years, and it's still mind-blowing for me to see the number of people who come out and make it happen. Uh, it could be the mini marathon uh, that happens, and one of our uh, prestigious speakers today, the mayor, is going to run that. And you'll see po folks out there handing out water, creating medical supplies, cleaning up to make sure that we're putting the town back the way that we found it. Uh, it could be anything, including the schools who do fundraising by selling the Pegasus pins at any number of our events, and on and on and on. I could talk about that. In the business of fun, uh, sometimes it is one of the hardest things to find the network of humans and people and families and contributors who will help us put this on, but it, it, it's fully supported by the Mayor's Give a Day, and we're so, we're so fortunate, we're so, so thankful. So as someone once said, volunteers don't get paid, not because they're worthless, but it's because they're priceless. And talking about the numbers here today, you can't put a number on it. Just what these kids are doing and the groups are doing, to say that it's grown from TJ Middle 
all the way to need Broadbent Arena. We know how big Broadbent Arena is. We produce events in there, and it's huge. And I hope it continues to grow to even larger spaces. And I can't wait to see what this will do uh, as years continue with Mayor Greenberg's continued support, Metro United Way support, and everybody standing up here. We can't say thank you enough. So thank you all for having us here today. Thank you so Matt. Thank you so much, Matt, and to every you and all of your colleagues at the Kentucky Derby Festival. We're very excited. I know, as Dr. Polio said, Justice Fest was an amazing and inspiring an event, and there are so many more to come with the Kentucky Derby Festival in the coming weeks and months. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, next up, uh, the first of two corporate partners that are really key partners of ours in Give a Day, and that are so important corporate citizens to our entire city. Uh, Katina Whitlock, who is the Senior Manager of Community Engagement at GE Appliances. Katina. Good morning and thank you, Mayor Greenberg. At GE Appliances, we are committed to our employees, our customers, and our consumers. But more importantly, we are committed to our community. And so this year, we celebrate 70 years at Appliance Park. And so that celebration is another opportunity for us to demonstrate our commitment to the city of Louisville, where we call home our global headquarters. And so as we celebrate the KDF Mini Marathon, which is the GE Appliances Mini Marathon and Marathon, celebrating its 50th year as we celebrate our 70th year, we recognize the opportunity that that has to come to the communities. But then there's things that we do every single day that are just a part of who we are as being an American company making American products. And so when I came in this morning, I saw the build of it. But what drew my attention was the slat that said, be kind, because I know the parent who works at GE Appliances, who brought their child to work that day, who actually drew that picture on that slat. And so at Appliance Park, we had the opportunity, led by our Veterans Employee Resource Group, to actually build 100 beds that day. And so as soon as January 1 hit, I received a phone call from our Veterans ERG and said, Katina, we need it in the budget and we need it on the calendar because we need to build some beds. And that's who we are as a business, but it's who we are as a community. There's no other place like the city of Louisville where organizations like corporations like Brown Foreman, our school district, Jefferson County Public Schools, our mayor's office, our labor unions, and nonprofits like Metro United Way come together for the good of our community. And that's what the mayors give a day, give a week, give a month exemplifies. A city and a community that comes together for the good of all. And so GE Appliances is proud to be here. We're proud to celebrate 70 years in Louisville, Kentucky, and proud to be a part of this year's Mayor give, Mayors Give a Day. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Katina. Another amazing cor corporate partnership is a global business that's located right here in Louisville. And thanks to the effort and commitment to our city, Brown Foreman and Jill Horn have done some amazing things in giving back with their employees' time and also with donations that they have made around the entire city, making an in incredible impact on the future of our city and, and impacting positively so many lives. So next up is Jill Horn, the Director of Global Community Relations with Brown Foreman. Jill. Thank you, Mayor Greenberg. I'm super excited to be here today. Who is excited? Who is excited to be here? This is super exciting to see all of these smiling faces, it's exciting to be in community. I feel like when I come in this room, I'm coming home. I was with United Way for almost 20 years uh, before Brown Foreman. This is where I grew up. This is where I learned what it means to be in community. All those amazing United Way folks, raise your hands. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Adria, for your leadership and for all you do behind the scenes to make uh, amazing Mayor's Give a Day happen. Um, to everyone who is here today, thank you for all of your hard work. I'm here with my colleague, Karen Cronach, who really is the heartbeat of Mayor's Give a Day at Brown Foreman. She makes it happen, she invests her time, and it takes people like Karen uh, at the corporations that we work with and Katina to organize the projects and to get the volunteers excited. So I'm super excited to be here today. I hope you are too. Um, to see so many smiling faces and to talk about what we can do together. Uh, at Brown Foreman, we believe it's important to be a good neighbor. Uh, this mindset is embedded in our company. The culture and volunteering comes second nature to our employees. 
For over 150 years, giving back has been important to us at Brown Foreman since this is our hometown community. Whether you give an hour, a day, donate blood, give food, clothing, or simply help a neighbor, everyone can do something. We appreciate our nonprofit partners. We know that you don't just wake up with a magic wand and create all of these amazing projects. It takes time, it takes work to be at Broadbent Arena to get all of the projects sourced and uh, make sure the volunteers are busy and have meaningful work. It takes so much work. And so just acknowledge um, what you put into making it happen and making Give a Day successful. And we're looking forward to participating this year and to see the ripple effect of kindness across our community. Thanks. Thank you so much, Jill. And finally, in addition to our amazing corporate citizens, representing over 50,000 hardworking men and women union households here in our city, another great partner has been organized labor. And representing organized labor today, is Todd Dunn, who's president of both the local UAW, but also the Greater Louisville Central Labor Council. Todd. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you everyone, especially everyone at United Way. Uh, I've learned so much over the years. Uh, I've been involved with uh, Metro United Way, and it's awesome to have uh, Tim Sanders uh, on a co corporate loan, if you will. Yes, from Ford Motor Company. Uh, you know, every time that we look at our membership, uh, you know, we get a tune-up. You know, every time I see uh, uh, Dr. Marty Polio, you know, I think of you being the principal over at DOS, and we came over on a project, uh, and I was able to be uh, the leader at the time, the president of Local 862, uh, to engage with uh, our children, our youth. And uh, what more uh, better of an opportunity for our children to learn how to give back to our community? Uh, and Mayor Greenberg, you know, one of the things that uh, when you spoke with us in labor and it was about the commitment, a commitment to our community, uh, the commitment to labor. So we all have to have a voice in the room, right? We all have to have the ability to have our foot in the door uh, to be able to do something for our membership and also to be able to give back in our community. And that's what makes us so successful here in Louisville, Kentucky, knowing that Mayor Fisher started this, but just knowing the commitment of the Mayor's Give a Day and what we do together uh, and tuning ourselves up, if you will, and trying to give back uh, to our community. And it's so awesome to work with uh, folks like Eddie Devine with electricians who are, who are out there trying to get our electric turned back on. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, and also our auto workers. And, you know, uh, the commitment to Louisville uh, is a, a continuous uh, uh, pride thing for me right you know because the the men and women that actually engage our community and keep our community going are the ones that uh elect us select us or believe in us as leaders sometimes uh, people say leaders are like go fish they're looking to see what we're going to do next well all we want to do is serve uh, those who are most important, those are the people that rely on us and the community that does. So we're just honored on behalf of labor to give back and we'll continue to do so and then honor those that we represent. Thank you very much. Thanks, Todd. Thanks to everyone for joining us today. Thanks again to all of the hardworking people who have been working to get everyone's power back on to the crews at Public Works and throughout Metro government, throughout JCPS that have been working through the past challenging few days. Thanks to the volunteers who are getting ready to participate in hopefully some new record-breaking Give a Day events. So thank you all so, we're so excited about this year's activities. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for participating and thank you for your support.